Hey everybody, this is Mr. MathBlog, and this lesson is similar to the last one. We did same perimeters, different area. This one's same area, different uh, perimeters. Okay, so here we go. Here's our common core strand. It's the same one as last one, and the question is almost the same, just kind of flip-flopped from yesterday's lesson. How can we use perimeter to compare rectangles that have the same area? So we're going to have uh, rectangles that have the same areas. So here's Marsha. Marsha is making a rectangular pin to hold her rabbits. The area of the pin should be 16 square meters with side lengths that are whole numbers. Okay, so we've got to, you know, no, no decimals or fractions. So what's the least amount of fencing that she's going to use? It has to be 16 square meters. All right, so what does least amount of fencing represent? Well, least amount would be the smallest amount of fencing that we would we would need with the 16 square uh, meters inside of there. So here, I just shrunk it up right there, and then we're going to use 16 tiles to make rectangles. Make as many different rectangles as you can with these 16 tiles. And these 16 tiles right here, they represent, here's four um, uh, units, here's four more units, here's four more units. Here's four more units. So we have to arrange these so they make rectangles right there. So if I if I uh, just started picking some of those guys up and let's see if I if I put this over here, say right about uh, there, I'm gonna put it right there. And we're gonna make a rectangle. There's one square unit. And if I just keep going, let's see, I'll go down, I guess, you guys. So what I'm gonna do is just keep going down and put just go straight down and it'll be a nice rectangle right there okay so there it is um, uh, right there okay and so if we go straight down okay so remember a rectangle the area is uh, uh, base times height or length times width however your teacher is describing it so here it's 16 times 1 so the area of this rectangle is 16 square units right there all right, now let's see what other kind of so what other kind of lengths times widths. What other kind of numbers? If we because rectangles, remember the area is base times uh, height or length times width. So they said they have to be whole numbers right here. So what other whole numbers? If we multiplied them, gave us 16 because it says that the area is going to be 16. That has to be a rectangle. Okay. So how about uh, uh, what other numbers? If we multiply, it gives us 16. How about how about 2 times 8? So let's make a, a perimeter of, of 2 by 8. So let's see if I go if I go over, let's see, I'll go down here. Uh, let's start it right about here. Okay, so I'm going to start it right there. So just to, to save rooms for my dimensions on the side right there. And I'm just going to keep going uh, 2 by 8. So this would be my 2 going across right there. And I'm just going to go down by 8. Okay, so there's 3 down, 4 down, 5 down. So I'm just going to keep going until I get 8 of them. Okay, that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And if I, uh, how many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here's 7. 7. Okay, and then uh, I want to go 8 down. Let's count them here. Let me go ahead and count them. Make sure I got 8 down. So... So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so here's eight right here. I'm just going to finish this column right here with the rest of these seven uh, unit squares right there. And then we'll have two by eight right there. Okay, so there's that. Two times eight equals 16. What other numbers, if we multiply, gives us 16 right there? How about four by four? So if we did four by four, let's see. So if I go... Uh, over here, down here, so here's one, I'm just going to go down four, okay, so here's two, three, four, I'm just going to keep going, I know you don't see my little arrow right there, I don't know why it doesn't show, it used to show on my old Promethean board, it doesn't do it this time, anyways, that's what I, my Promethean board, this is called Active Inspire. Uh, for the Promethean boards, okay. So I'm just going to keep going. So there's four going across and four going down. So there's a four by four right there, okay. So let's go back to these directions over here. These directions say use 16 squares to make rectangles, as many different rectangles as we can. I can't think of anything else if I multiplied whole numbers to get me 16. So it's those ones. So then write the multiplication equation for each uh, area shown by the rectangle. And then we're going to find the perimeter of all those rectangles. Okay, so area is the inside and, and um, uh, the square units inside. And then uh, perimeter is walking around the outside. 
Okay, so explain how we found those rectangles. Okay, well, well, we know that the area of a rectangle is just length times width. So, so what two whole numbers, if we multiply them together, gives us 16. Uh, 1 times 16 equals 16, 2 times 8 equals 16, and 4 times 4 equals 16. So that gave us those dimensions of the, of the rectangle right there. Okay, so now we're going to write a multiplication equation for each uh, um, area. We know they're all 16. And then after that, we're going to find the perimeter of each rectangle, okay? So I started with this one right here. So this is 1 by 16 right here. This is 2 by 8, and this is 4 by 4. So that's what I'm going to put over here, okay, those dimensions right there. All right, and then to find the perimeter, perimeter is all the way around. So I'm going to add some 4s here. I'm going to put another 2 down here and another 8 right there. I'm going to put another 16 over here and another 1 down here so we can just add them all up. Okay, now I started with this one, so let's go ahead and add these four sides right there. To me, I think it's easiest to add the big guys first. 16 plus 16 is 32, so this would be 33 and then 34. So the perimeter of that guy is 34. Okay, so the perimeter of this guy, to me it's easiest to do 8 plus 2 is 10, and then you got another 10. So 10 and 10 is going to get me 20 right there. And then 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 16 right there. It's the same as the area, except it's in just meters, not square meters. Area is always square meters, and perimeter is always meters. All right, let's answer the question, you guys. The question said, uh, which one would have the least amount of fencing right here? Okay, so they're all going to have 16 square meters right there. Here's the fencing. The perimeter is 34. Here's the fencing for the middle one. The perimeter was 20. This is my least right here. So if that's my least and smallest amount of fencing right here, it started with a 4 by 4. So I'm going to put in here. So Marcia should make a rectangular pen that's 4 meters and 4 meters right there. And then the area is going to be this 16 uh, meters right here. So 16 meters is the, I'm sorry, 16 meters is the perimeter right here. I was thinking area. That they're just a coincidence that they're the same numbers, but this is square meters and perimeter is always in meters. So the blank meters is the least amount of fencing Marsha will need. She's going to need 16 meters would be the least amount of fencing to do that right there. Alrighty? All right, let's try this. Let's draw th three rectangles that have the same area of 18 square units on the grid. So we got to think, what times what equals 18? Well, I know 1 times 18 equals 18. And then uh, what else? 2 times 9 equals 18. And then uh, what's the other one? 3, 3 goes into 18 6 times, 3 times 6. So then we find the perimeter of each rectangle and then shade the one that has the greatest perimeter. This one time they want the greatest. So whole numbers that multiply to get 18, 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6. So let's just draw a rectangle 1 by 18. Okay, so there's 1 by 18. I just counted 18 squares right here. Okay, and then by 1, so this is 18 square units right here. All right, so the perimeter is going to be 18 plus 18. 18 plus 18 is 36, 37, 38. So the perimeter of this guy is 38. The long skinny one has a perimeter of 38 units. Let's do 2 by 9. Okay, so 2 by 9 is going to be uh, 9 plus 9 is 18, plus 2 is 20, plus 2 more is 22. So the perimeter of this guy is 22. All right, I'm going to do the 3 by 6 over here. So over 3, down 6. That way I can fit it in there right there in the perimeter of this guy if we just add them together. So 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 3 is 15, plus 3 is 15, so we get um, 18 on that. Which one has the greatest? Because it does say the greatest right here. So the one that has the greatest, this one's 18, this one's 22, and this one's 38. So this one has the greatest, and they asked us to shade that rectangle. So I'm just going to go ahead and shade that rectangle. Okay, all right, you guys. Hey, what did the area say to the perimeter while they were arguing? The area said, look, I'm trying to talk to you, but I feel like you're just going around my problem. Do they get it? All right, you guys, take care.